All right, hey, exactly Facebook Live, we're here. Uh, we're getting ready to start our episode. Uh, we're just getting everybody logged in. Hey, my Forrest Gump wave. <laughs> okay, um, should we should we get started? Sure. Wait. Go uh, ahead. What are what's what's the studio called? Right there. Welcome back, Universe, to Tom and Mark Off the Rails. Uh, first ever 36 episode crossover episode, and we are here with Utterly Insane with Mark and Joe. How you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm Joe. Yep. We kept all the marks on one side of the room. I thought that would be that's, simpler. That's <laughs> well, it's not just simpler. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Coming because, from this that's week. because we are the best. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we are coming to you live uh, here at the Coldwell Banker Home Sale Realty Studios in beautiful Grafton, Wisconsin. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, sponsoring our studio. Uh, Roy Shoka uh, was on last week, and he liked, he had so much fun that he decided, hey, you guys are all right. Yep. We're going to sponsor your studio. We locked the door, didn't let him leave cool. until he gave us some money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the next day, he had us go oh, to gee, lunch with him. Here. We went to lunch with him, and then it was a, what would you call it, a seminar? Yeah, it was some sort of realtors meeting. We got a, uh, you got to talk to a bunch of people. Helen was there, so I had to yeah. kind of duck out when she decided to not be having it anymore. And, you know, we got free food, and while I'm scarfing down my free food, he's like, yeah, I'm going to go on, and uh, in like a, I'll have you guys go on next and talk. Oh, right, what? <laughs> At least I saw him wave you over. So. Yeah, I'm like, okay, we didn't even know we were supposed to talk, but we had a great time, and thank you very much. So continue to, uh, wait a minute, we should give them a little read here. Uh, if you're looking to buy or sell a home or are interested in a career in real estate, email Roy at Roy at CBHSR, uh, Coldwell Banker Home Sale Realty, that stands for, CBHSR.com, or call 414-235-0763. We'd love to be your go-to for all your real estate needs. Uh, make sure you check on it. Our Patreon page, keep doing the Amazon stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, all the stuff you bought helped uh, Molly get a two terabyte memory so we can put more shows on there. And if you like us or uh, Utterly Insane here, go on our Facebook pages, click like, share. It's an easy way to help us out without uh, having to pay a dime. So thank you, everybody. All right. So what you got? You're still trying to get on? I'm still. It's fine. You're farting around? Okay. Well, it's fine. should we get into some current events real quick? Let's do it. Uh, here's something that you guys need to look at. Foz and I already looked at this one. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this on the news. Uh, they're wanting to know if it is a wolf or a coyote. Oh, I already seen that. You already seen that? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Uh, no. That's not the one you've seen. No, that's exactly the one Is I've it? seen because that's the video I watched. Okay, then you've it's already seen it. It's real kind of out of focus, too, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, and the computer is loving it. Well, how big is it? I mean, isn't, isn't that, that the big difference is wolves are huge? Well, here it is. <coughs> Can you see it? Are you, this was like right here? Wind Lake, Wisconsin. Yeah, like Wisconsin. And you got this. Oh, yeah, it's giant. not a wolf. It's not a coyote. That's it a, is. It's, it's, it's not a wolf. I think a it's a not wolf. a coyote either. A wolf would be in a pack. Someone's dog just got no, out. It's got there's beautiful a, white hair. It's not big enough. It looks just like your timber joy. There's no, rogue doesn't. wolves. They're all over. They're on their own. Not around here too much. They run in packs. Well, that, this doesn't that looks happen like too a husky often. to me. That would be too, too small to be. In a fact, wolf. did I lock that kennel door? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a wolf would be much bigger. That is huge. Yeah, but it's it, the but it wolves are bigger than you think they're going to be. That it looks bigger than what it is. Yeah, those but wolves those mailboxes. But it's not Come on in, Foz. We got Foz here, everybody. Come on in. He's got opinions on this. Uh, Foz, here you go. Look at enough coyotes. It does have long legs. Coyotes got stubby legs, man. Yeah, they do, and they run weird. That thing's a tall, lanky, young. I bet you it's a teenager. A juvenile. It's possible. We're on something else. Got lost from its pack, maybe. Okay, we well, lost it. They just pushed out from the pack. They got to go start their own. Well, if it's a male, and it's a young one, see, yeah, they normally do get pushed out of the pack, the and they have to start. So it's, it's got to be a young one. They got to push it's still everything too away. Small. The wolf would be a. Well, how do new packs get that? started? You got to be kicked out to start a new pack. Yep. That's how everything spreads. So, uh, did you think it was a koi wolf? Maybe. That's possible. 
I think it's just a young wolf myself. Yeah, koi wolves usually have the color of the coyote. Yeah. But the color of that one actually looks white. more like a, a husky. A husky? Wow. Yeah. Huskies don't. Yeah, I agree. All it looks look like, like a dog. That either. But it's one I mean, huge I dog. I can see a look but more it like a, a wolf. Big, right. It is a big dog or canine. But they only gave from my choices. perspective, yeah. but from my <laughs> right. perspective, it actually looks like an adult husky. That's right. just kind of. But they only gave us some choices to start with. Well, yeah. well, I choose not to use their choice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I choose to use my own choice. That's the question. I'm not saying aliens, <laughs> but aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Alien pet. That's what that is. Oh, somebody's yeah. pet. Yeah, that's how I believe it. it is somebody's pet. Yeah. The simplest solution is usually what it is. Okay. So. I share my mic today, so right. I'm going to be a little back and forth. Why don't we. Uh, I kind of jumped the gun here. Why don't we introduce somebody uh, for your listeners? We'll, we'll uh, oh, yeah. tell about ourselves. We did, a little bit. We did that, but it wasn't on air. Yeah. Okay. See, that's why we normally try not to talk with guests before we start them. We learn everything about them. And but that can get we really did. awkward. Well, did you yeah. want us to stand in the corner <laughs> sure. and, like we were on yeah. timeout or something? Yeah, you guys go hang over there. That's our little green room over here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your show, how you guys got started, what you're about. <coughs> Well, you can start that. <laughs> I can start that? Well, she's the one that does the best. Well, anyway. All right, fine. With that story. Well, we, we've we been friends for close to 20 years now. I calculated it. And um, one evening we were we went out to dinner together and made good evening of it. Went and seen Logan when it came to the theaters. And, and on the way there, him and I, he sits in the front with me driving. I'm, I'm the driver. Okay. That's what I do for a living is drive, but... I'm not driving and handling the money. <laughs> Sorry. A little big Lebowski reference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know where that came from there. Um, so, on our way to dinner, the two of us, we do what we do. We He starts on me, I start on him, and we're back and forth, and insults fly, and mm -hmm. goofiness entails. And um, so we had dinner, and then we went over and watched the movie. And Net Chicklin Phillip and on the way Netflix back and chill. it started again. On the way yeah. back it started again. Well but Peanut Gallery we about the movie who are sitting in the green room over here. Okay. Um, his wife, my girlfriend, they're sitting in the back seat and and um, all of a sudden we hear them, you know, we should be taping this. Yeah. So it got his gears finally oiled and rolling. And a couple of days later, he's still talking about it, and and I'm like, well, why don't we just do a damn podcast? If you if you're that into it, let's do a podcast. But it didn't start until the long trip. But uh, yeah, well that that was that was the first part of it. But the other trip is when we took, I took him and uh, and everybody. We went deep north Wisconsin. Okay. Um, Athens, Athens. Oh, by Athens, and that's where we got his new mal, uh, his mal his his new husky. Siberian that he's got. husky. Siberian husky. Awesome little dog. She's okay. goofy as hell. <laughs> yeah, we just saw a clip but of her. On yeah, that could have been her. Actually, <laughs> kind of looked like her. So now you got us trapped in a car for three hours, one way, and we had them in stitches, and they said made their comments again about mm -hmm. why don't you guys do this as a podcast. No, they didn't say that or, as a podcast. Well, they know, said we should be recording this. And put it on YouTube. That's what they said. And just said. throw it up mm -hmm. for everybody yeah. to watch and get okay. and have the goofiness of it. So we got started getting it together and I think it was like, what, a couple of weeks later we actually started doing something about it. It was uh, sometime audio. in October. Yeah. Yeah, it was about October. About the same time you guys started. Yeah, we, we released on uh, Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, we were two weeks before that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for your listeners, uh, Mark's not the first host. Uh, we started it was Tom and Alex off the rails, then it was Tom and Mark. Now it's off the rails with Tom. Now and it's Mark. just Tom. Now it's just. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> talk, Mark. He's got a wild hair up my ass. Said uh, we can do this. We know a lot of interesting people. Like let's have them on. And a lot of people don't think they're that interesting, but they are to people who don't know them so oh, yeah. Tom already knew an awesome IT chick yeah who Everything seamlessly became our master producer yes she did oh I don't know if you guys can see Molly back there 
Yep. Yes, they can. All right, there's Molly. So that's yeah. how it all got started. So I kind of came up with like a little bit of format. So we're going to hit the local event, and I did this one especially for Mark. It's a family tradition if it's the one I think you're going to do. Polish Fest? Heck yeah. Yeah. Father is 100% Pole. Really? Yes. His grandfather came from Poland and only okay. married Polish girls down the block or whatever it is. Okay, so what type of things do you do at Polish Fest? I have a tiski. What's a tiski? It's Polish. It's like Polish Miller Lite. Okay. <laughs> have a tiski? Oh. Yeah, go to the history tents. There's usually some uh, beautiful dogs. I forget what they're called. They're really fluffy white There's dogs. There's a Polish history tent. And these people took us over? And then these people took us over? <laughs> well, that's the thing. When I was a kid, I was told we were Polish. And then I asked my brother, where's Poland on a map? And it was a Cold War era map. So he shows me middle of the Soviet Union. And I'm like, oh, we're Russian? No. Like, no. <laughs> well, at one time, we were also German. And then... But te yeah, <laughs> technically, when Ignaz Majewski came to America, he was fleeing Prussia. Ignaz! Ignaz! <laughs> Ignatius. Okay. Like the hunk of metal? Iggy. Or Ig no, that's Ingat. Whatever. But yeah, he came here fleeing Prussian uh, conscription people prior to World War One. Okay. So, so technically German. Could be Russian. <laughs> it starts Maybe Friday, June 15th. And... Right on Father's Day. Friday? No, the Sunday. We usually go on Father's Day for, with my dad. Okay. What are we doing for Father's Day fest? Nothing. Want to go fishing? Want to invade uh, no. Polish fest? Of course, Polish fest for Polish women. They're there. <laughs> All right. So everybody enjoy that. Now let's get back to what we were doing. Um, I guess we can interview you before we get into some other stuff. We said uh, how you guys started, basic stuff. Okay. I'm out of questions. <laughs> Very, very prepared here. And this interview is over. All right, thanks for coming, so guys. So what kind of stuff do you guys talk about on the podcast? I unfortunately didn't get a chance to listen yet, so this is all virgin stuff for me. When we started, during the time we started, I was, I, I still am, um, part of your, your, your taboos not to talk about. Yeah. So Bert that's Farf? what we started. No. The Brett Favre show? No. <laughs> That's where we start. It's up there, dude. You get no. a reach. I don't have any money. <laughs> but now I'll get you back um, later. <laughs> but then we decided, I, I kind of came forward with it and said, you know, we need to just maybe do something different because news media is flooded with all this crud and, and people are starting to get tired of it, so mm -hmm. we're not going to be talking about that particular subject anymore. And the other subject that's a taboo with you guys, not the one you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We did, I think, one show on that, and I, and and those those two subjects, when they're brought up, will set me off. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who you are, I will offend the hell out of you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because that works. You know, it. it I like I said, it sets me off. So what we've been doing is mostly stuff we find in the news with, like, uh, there was one we found that, that um, about Montana, that, that farmer that shot that, that animal in Montana and didn't know if it was a wolf or dog or, mm -hmm. or whatever. We did one on that. And then it's just different stuff. We'll do stuff on conspiracies. We'll do stuff on... on um, so that's uh, why Foz is here. Yep. We'll do stuff... <laughs> no, pretty much, pretty much any topic is is game for us. Yeah, you guys did one on WrestleMania. He did, I one, did WrestleMania. one on WrestleMania. I did my predictions about um. WrestleMania because I still watch <laughs> wrestling once in a while, and it's. I grew up watching it, you know, going to the venues before they were at the big venues like the Coliseum. Uh, we Skate were going country to like over Edgewood here. College and. You know, yeah. Andre the Giant was a new thing, and it was AWA wrestling back then. So, are you, you a big fan of Hulk Hogan? Not <laughs> the biggest. I mean, this interview's you know, over. <laughs> I was when I was a kid when he first came out, got championship and stuff like that. But like every. Scripted. Mm -hmm. We all know that nowadays. Hawk Hogan's kind of wore out his, you know, signature. He's got to come up with something. How new much more his, can he do? Yeah, yeah it's like he, he's like. But then he news. switched to Hollywood. That's like. It's totally he's the, different. He's not the greatest actor in the world either. No, that's. What are some of your favorite Hulk Hogan movies, Tom? 
Uh, I like Suburban Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nanny. <laughs> yeah, No Holds Barred. Th yeah. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> You'll keep going if you let him. <laughs> Gremlins 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right, cool. Well, Faz. Yes, sir. You were telling me about this. Uh, I what is it called? Four one one. I kind of found something oh, on that. Missing four one one. Missing four one one. This is. Uh, oh, that that was that big uh, YouTube thing that you told me about. It's like uh, it's like four hours long. I know. <laughs> I tried watching it. You're welcome for all that information. Okay. Um, my computer is crapped. So. Don't help, man. I just had it's it's a mass disappearance of people. Pause. Take over for a second. Really it's a mass disappearance of people. It's okay, I, it's back. You got it? Good. <laughs> These are 10 truly bizarre cases of mass disappearances. Um, okay, have fun with that word, Tom. On the Anunnaki Kuni? Lake incident. The Anunnaki? College kid. Oh, yeah. Anunnaki Lake incident. You know about the Anunnaki? Oh, wait a minute. Anjukuni. Sorry. Anun I don't Anunnaki know. is... is Native, Native American that, alien stuff. Yeah, the Anunnaki is basically aliens, so I read it wrong. It's the okay. Anjakuni uh, Lake incident in 1930. Ooh, I just crushed my funny bone. All right. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't so funny, was it? Huh? But it's at the end of the humorous funny mm -hmm. bone. <laughs> so, <clears throat> while seeking somewhere to rest for the night in November 1930, fur trapper Joe LaBelle came across an Inuit settlement near... Anjakuni Lake near Nauvoo. Okay. <laughs> Did you get all that internet? Inside, there was no trace of the 30 strong community. Furthermore, each hut it's still contained each resident's personal Canada. possessions. The com community's food and fish supplies were full and untouched, as unlikely as it, the entire village had just up and left at a moment's notice. It is even more unlikely that they would do so without taking their clothes, weapons, and community food supply. Um, so later the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, <laughs> one of my favorite wrestlers too, the Mountie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dudley do right over here, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, said it was sent to the isolated settlement. On the way, Mounties stopped for refreshments at the home of a local trapper, <laughs> Armand Laurent. <coughs> he informed them of a strange gleaming object that had flown over his property several nights earlier. Now, is that what happens in the Missing 411 stuff? It's generally the same thing. You're just tooling along, walking down a, a path, trail, whatever you're talking about, and next thing you know, the guy next to you is gone. They have searches. Two, three weeks, they're searching for these people and can't find them. Okay. Maybe a year later, somebody's walking down the same trail. Here's the dude laying there all busted up dead. Bust it up. Bust it up, yeah. Have you heard of the Missing 411? That I haven't, but no. what he's des describing sounds similar to the um, to the incident they call Fire in the Sky. Oh, that movie. Fire in the Sky. And they made a movie uh, out of it? Yeah, but the guys abduction. that he's talking about are dead. Just, Understandable, yeah, yeah. but it sounds similar. Alien abduction? Alien abduction. But here's another theory for you to think about, too. Have you, have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? Oh, yeah, we got we, it. We've, we've, we've talked about that talked to that. great lengths. <laughs> yeah. You think he was shipped into a different dimension for a while? Possibly. Okay. That's what they're thinking with the missing 411. They think they're actually walking into, like, a wormhole or something. Well, you know, you got CERN that has the, the superhedron collider, and what they're doing with that is they're colliding particles, creating black holes, miniature black holes, um, or miniature anomalies is what they call them. And there are speculations by some of these nut jobs and, <laughs> and stuff that, that the possibility is that CERN has discovered ways of creating wormholes to other dimensions, pocket dimensions, um, other worlds, stuff like that. I mean, that, that is a good possibility. Worlds where Sinbad made a movie about a genie. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah, that yeah, one. That one. The... You also have uh, the the supposed um, misspeaking uh, in Forrest Gump, where you, you know supposedly it's supposed to be Mama always told me life is like a box of chocolates. 
and there's supposedly it was life was like a box of chocolates in the movie or something like that. Yeah. And then the the Empire Strikes Back, you know. I have a theory on all of that. Supposed to say here, Luke, I am your father instead of no, I am your father. All right. So here's kind of my theory on that is I'm pretty well knowledge on the brain, neuropsychology, and stuff. So every cell in your body is replaced every seven years. So seven years ago, you were not, any part of you that exists right now is not you. So how do your memories get passed along? If you figure that out, you win a Nobel Prize. So memories have to get passed from cell to cell to cell. So all these things seem to be way in the past, not yesterday or anything. It seems to be lost in passing this information in a way that we don't understand. And then Somebody says it, it sounds like that, there's mass, everybody's just, oh yeah, that was that, but it's, mem memory is so fallible that, you know, you, yes. you can't really, I don't really trust the, this guy said this, or this guy said that. I mean, you can say something, and people hear what they want to hear, because your brain always takes shortcuts for the easiest, easiest way. Yeah, it's kind of like with uh, sentences and stuff, um, you can tell, you, you put a sentence down, as long as the sentence that you're going to read has the first letter exactly the way it's supposed to be and the last letter exactly the way it's supposed to be. You can mix that sentence up yeah, in different ways and, and put the letters in different orders. But your brain will actually decipher that and mm -hmm. read that Perfect. sentence the way it's supposed to be. Your brain is lazy, believe it or not. Have you ever heard of the Kinko's experiment that they did? Mm, that doesn't ring a bell. Okay, so what they did was uh, they had a group of people walk into Kinko's and uh, ask if they could skip in line. And like 90% of people said no. Then they had another group of people walk in and ask if I could skip in line because, you know, my daughter has this, I'm in a hurry, I'm in a rush or whatever. And 90% said yes. Then they had another third group come in and say, could I skip you in line because I need to make a copy? And 90% said yes because once you hear the word because, your brain says they must have a better reason than me and it shuts off. Hmm. <laughs> I'd have been suspicious after group three comes in. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, well no, the thing is I'm never getting out of here. The thing is with that, though, yeah, your your brain may be lazy. Yeah. But you also have to train your brain in order to not let it be lazy like that. You well, got you got to con continuously um, keep learning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if and, you ever want that, is, that is one of the problems with with society today is yeah. because no, is most of the people are lazy. Yep. This mm -hmm. does all my thinking for me. Yep. Well, that's that's the point. <laughs> this that's and, four years of and the and the computers and everything. Once this technology came into being, everybody got lazy. Mm -hmm. How many phone numbers do you remember? Oh, when I was a kid, I knew a dozen phone numbers. <laughs> now, if this breaks, I'm dead to the world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So if you're out and about and your phone dies on you completely, and the battery goes junk or whatever. You're not going to be able to remember whose phone number you need to call in I order to have call somebody call my old phone number right? when I was a kid. All I know is my parents' home phone number. That is the that, only number that has survived. Exactly. But I used to know all the neighbor kids. I used to know all my friends from high school or middle school. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like cleaning up a computer. So, when I when I was growing up, when I was in school, we were right on that cusp of having the party lines and the separate single lines. So, I remember actually picking the phone up to make a phone call. And having somebody else on that line because I, we were still on that. a party I line, remember that. and we were out in the country at that time. Mm -hmm. we, we we lived out in the boondocks. You'd hear a whole another conversation going. On. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, "What so, did I just want?" So going back into this it sounds like with, fun, actually. <laughs> with, <laughs> with computers, it though. I mean, used to if you wanted any information, you'd have to either go to a library or you'd have to actually talk to the person that had had the information or you had to, to read it in a book or a magazine library, or a newspaper. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even know what Now you go on a computer, it's a couple of keystrokes and you're on a page that's called Wikipedia and you can find anything you want. Now, the problem with that is how much of it is true because Wikipedia is an open source program and anybody can go in there and change anything they want. It's gotten better, but yeah, basically yeah, anyone can change anything. Exactly. I mean, yeah. If, if somebody wants to wants you to believe that that tigers have spots instead of stripes, they can go on on the Wikipedia page and change that. Okay. 
So bottom line is, if you want a chick's <laughs> phone number, you just ask her and say, because I want your phone number. <laughs> because? <laughs> because I want your phone number. Because I want to call you. Is that how you and Molly met? Molly, can I have your, I want your phone number. Because. No, it was years of stalking. <laughs> because I need it. Relentless robot <laughs> pursuit. <laughs> so, all right, this one might open up another can of worms here. <laughs> uh, USS Cyclops, 1918. The United States uh, USS Cyclops performed duties on the seas around Europe during World War I. However, its mysterious disappearance didn't seem to come during, a ba during battle. Instead, it appeared to be a victim of the now famous Bermuda Triangle that has claimed sh plane ships and planes alike. So, it... In February, it left its port in Brazil. By March 3rd, there was confirmation that the ship was off the coast of Barbados. Then communication suddenly ceased. The vessel simply disappeared with over 300 crew members and passengers. No distress signal or call for help. Furthermore, searches around the ship's last confirmed position. Did I mention, Universe, that this is a conspiracy theory episode? Molly, <laughs> 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 well, edit that in for us. She's on Angry Birds over there. Any Facebook Live stuff going, by the way? Not yet. No yeah. questions. No questions. I'm, yeah, I'm fielding the uh, questions this year. Okay. This year. This round. This year. So we'll see how uh, poorly I do it. Okay. Um, a lot of people call it a rogue wave. A lot of people call it alien abduction. What do you guys think about the Bermuda Triangle? Joe, you haven't said much. What's going on there? I don't know. There's a lot about the Bermuda Triangle that doesn't make sense, but... That's also where those uh, famous, that famous uh, set of planes uh, that oh, yes. uh, there they was like a group of planes. They were flying in formation, and, they're, they're, and it seems like everybody that's flown over there, their, their instruments goes all wacky and stuff, too. So my it's theory yeah. is like some kind of natural phenomenon, and it screws with instruments and just screws everything up. As far as boats disappearing, who knows? Yeah, what do you got over I there? mean, I you could have, have too much underground that. whirlpools. The triangle could be anything. The most logical one I heard was methane pockets under the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah creating like a, a changing bubble. the buoyancy a and also yeah. screwing with the a bubble comes up and the ship's over a bubble, uh, or even just a, a trillion little bubbles will do it. Because I've yeah. seen model mock-ups of it. But they also ran an engine of a plane and entered like one percent methane gas, and it shut down the engine. Yes. So. I see. I've seen the same. Yeah, you've seen the same. But those uh, those planes were reporting that they their their, their instruments weren't working. Yeah, yeah. their compasses and that stuff all go screwy and stuff. Yeah. So what causes the compasses to go all screwy? Uh, and stuff? Maybe you're huffing yeah, methane like, and going, going what? That med... thing's spinning, man. <laughs> yeah. But is there like some possible. kind of magnetic possible, field there, but... possibly that you could yeah. be running into? I would say just I don't know. It could I be a magnetic anomaly in there as well. Some something, something to well, do with that's the like magnetic the, poles. Well, there's 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 uh, spots depending like on, that all over on the world. When the reports happen, you can also take and and, and uh, figure out when the reports happen and see if there's a, a correlation with with uh, solar storms. Because when when we get high solar storms, it screws with our magnetic field. Speaking of our magnetic field, that's supposed to invert sometime soon. Uh -oh. Soon being it could be in 10,000 years, flip. it could be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah north will be south like and south will be north. It's already done it once. Yeah, it's done it uh, you know, tons you know of times. That, you know that right now, if you actually look at it, um, our true magnetic north is slightly off. It's yeah, it's like close. in Norway or something right now. It changes every year. It wanders. Wander, it yeah. wanders. Yeah. And Countless times. Oh yeah, it's so, done it. It's done it several times. I'm just curious how that's. Is it just one day? Is it just going to flip, or is it going to be this weird gradual thing where there's areas like the Bermuda Triangle where Mary every everything's just wonky, and then those areas spread into that's, the new norm? Well, that could be explaining your global warming too. Yeah. You know, it's getting closer to where some of that area is getting to the warmer climate zones. And yeah, the uh, and that's why all the icebergs and stuff, you know, up in the north are melting. The magnetic field is our first defense against solar radiation and all that. So you, you weaken right. our field, and that, that could change everything. That's what filters out the harmful rays of the sun, that and the ozone layer. Without the ozone layer, we'd, we'd bake like we were in a microwave. No one talks radiation. about the ozone layer anymore. When I was a kid, yeah. that was the that, big thing. That was one of the big things. I was, was like, we're going to die. Know, the ozone layer is going to yeah, kill that's, us. That's, that's, no, why, no that's why when, 
You know, that's it's all about they, the mighty buck then. Changed yeah. all the the you wanted everybody to go you put green. In the air conditioning. No, it's because '80s hair went out of style, and they were going to <laughs> spring in the Aquanet like crazy. Damn Aquanet, man! Hey, you know that stuff makes a really good blowtorch. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you lost your hair? No. No, no. <laughs> That's because of what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Faz, you want to talk some Bigfoot and all? Whatever. Okay. Yeah. What do you big, guys want to talk about? Is it Bigfoot or Big Feets? Bigfoots. <laughs> what do you believe in a single individual or is this a population I of animals? I believe in a population. Because there are people who think it's a, a trans-dimensional being sure, are you sure popping in and out. He said that one before. Are you yeah. sure it's yeah. not some sort of, like he said, trans-dimensional being or... or or like possibly an alien species that is truly intelligent, but and knows how to to avert being detected. I saw and that episode of the Six and, Billion and Dollar Man. Until we <laughs> Six cares. billion dollar. Whatever. What's the show called? Million. Six million. Six million dollar man. <laughs> I'm a millennial. You got to <laughs> see any. Well, yeah, it was, <laughs> now it would be like a six billion dollar. Yeah. That show was popular when we were kids. I saw yeah, reruns of it when I was a little kid. Because yeah, I used to watch like Gilligan's on Island on TBS. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Bigfoot's an interesting subject as well. I mean, it, who's to say that that there isn't some sort of primate species out there that we haven't discovered yet? That's the one I think. Because if you look yeah, at it, primate I mean, thing too. It's everybody thinks it's got to be a monkey or something, some type of ape. Didn't say that. All mm -hmm. the DNA that comes in, the first thing they tell you is. It's contaminated. It's got human DNA on it. Or it Maybe they're fucking human. Human? Yeah, there have uh, been feral how people. About, how about this one? Maybe they're actually Neanderthal, and they never did die out completely. It's the, and this is a this is a, a an evolutional stage of the Neanderthal. Well, they got to be intelligent. They have Neanderthal to... DNA though, and we're five percent Neanderthal. It's pronounced Neanderthal. The Neanderthal. H is for Neanderthal. haters. Neanderthal. <laughs> Neanderthal. But the, the the whole thing is see. The, some of the, some of the scientists that I have actually, you know, um, read about and stuff with the Neanderthal say they that um, they and Homo sapiens, uh, modern man at, at that time, actually bred out the Neanderthal because the That's modern what they man say, uh, it would look like today. Yeah, almost looks like Walter Matthau. I'd let him buy yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Walter Matthau. Walter <laughs> have any of you guys run those DNA tests? Do you know if you have any Neanderthal in you? They say everybody has at least 5%. Well, that, well some people have more than others. From my yeah. anthropology 301. Oh, I was the, the impression, like 20% of the population. The Neanderthal Neanderthal weren't, supposedly weren't um, able to... to do the hunter gatherer type of thing. They were more hunters than gatherers. And the Homo sapien species of us became more of a, a gatherer than a hunter. And because of that, they bred into the Neanderthals and kind of bred them out of existence. So that's how, you know, they, they got absorbed into our part of the, of the gene pool or the, the, the tree. So, so I guess the question is would you tap that, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Someone in my family must have <laughs> go back far enough. <laughs> That's the thing, you know. Everyone probably looks awful and smells awful <laughs> and reeks <laughs> full of bugs. Yeah. Probably driving Molly nuts with my freehand mic here. Yes, you are. All right, so we went from Bigfoot to Neanderthals pretty quick. That was cool. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a viable theory. Mm -hmm. Why not? All right. So I figure you guys are in the fact-checking. Here's six persistent science conspiracy theories. Check fact-checking six of them. Okay, and you just said the first one was a total of 37% of American voters. Oh, this is getting political. Let's get on. Okay. Hey, where's your button? Yeah, I, I you started it. Where's your I button? I pulled out. Oh no! no. <laughs> it, the tip went in, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why are they? Hold on. This whole website's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not read it ahead of time? No, he's probably okay. <laughs> Some twenty percent believe childhood no, vaccines he, he are linked to autism. <laughs> 
Well, I've been told there's no backing behind that. Well, Andrew Wakefield, the guy who came up with that autistic study, admits that it's fake, but everybody's like, no, you're right. He's like, no, I'm lying. No, you're not. Well, When's that ever happened before? They're just <laughs> mad because they're, they, they rolled the dice and their kid's autistic, and that's terrible, and they're looking for someone to blame it on. Why, yeah. is, why did this happen? This isn't fair. Well, life's not fair. We all roll the life's dice. Life's never fair. Yeah. yeah. Some people get snake eyes. That's how it is. Yeah, you got you to take what you have and make what you can of it. They're just saying there's no... We can't all be sexy bald men named Mark. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I, good thing I didn't read see, this I'm website. Partially bald. Here. Partially bald? Yeah. Well, I do have hair on me. You should see him take his hats off. <laughs> Got some wicked braids. Wow, okay. <laughs> We're in the minority here, guys. This one says the poll revealed that 14% believe that Bigfoot is real. Who here believes Bigfoot's real? Well, Foz. I must me. Well, yeah. I, I, I want Bigfoot to be real. <laughs> I don't believe Bigfoot is real. What, well, what's it gonna take? If I had to put money down, I'm putting money down on no. You're like the first three-year-old kid that's like, Ma, this Santa shit isn't adding up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ma. I asked Santa for this, and I got this. It's a different guy earlier. this year at the mall. I'm sure, that was Mr. Jones from down the street. <laughs> so I want Bigfoot to be real, but okay. I just. If yeah, if if we're putting our money where our mouth is, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Why? Because there's no proof. There isn't enough well, proof. I want to go hiking. I want to go. Right. Little. I think you it's fun. All right. You want to know why it's fun? This is my theory. Why they haven't found a corpse or any viable DNA or any real samples? Think about it this way. We're smart. We're intelligent. What's to say Bigfoot's not intelligent? What's to say that when one of them die, they don't? bury their dead or get rid of their dead somehow. Could be. You know, and then think about this. A lot of the land hasn't been explored fully. You know, there's there's places they can probably get to that we can't or mm -hmm. haven't been able well, to I'm get to Well, I'm open to the yet. idea of it. Uh -oh. I'm just getting Did too cynical. watch the Patterson footage? Yes. That's the best that footage out there. That is the best it's footage the out footage there. Of them. It's the best footage. They cannot prove it wrong. Did you know no, Patterson was making a movie about Bigfoot right before that happened? And right. He already no, had but, the costumes. But, <laughs> but they've already the proven that, that was... that's not somebody in a costume because you can see too much of a must. They've, they've like, actually see dissected that the video. Thing. Who back you in can the see 60s that tits. is going to go, hey, we're going to fake this. Let's put tits on them. It's, yeah. not, it's not just You can that. actually see the breasts. What is it? You can what see is the, the muscle. Rule 32, if it exists, there's porn of it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it could be. But no, if you look at the footage, watch the footage, okay? And you got to realize what year this was filmed in and what kind of camera they used. Uh, uh, okay, in '67 they didn't have the 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 movie technology that we have today. They didn't have the, they didn't have the, the makeup technology. and the costumes and the, and everything that's that's being made today. So, they what are they uh, to to fake that? Are they going to go and find a Six foot two woman that's big boned and paste hair all over her from head to toe all the way and have her walk across barefoot across rocks. Oh, they got to make sure she's got the droopy boobs too to make her look <laughs> well, more like the oh, six two woman with droopy boobs covered in hair. But I'll also, talk, you, I'll get you, you one. We're going to Polish Fest this weekend. We'll get you one. <laughs> <laughs> but if you also watch that footage, I mean, you really watch that footage, you can see the muscle movement in the in the thighs and the legs. They could have really faked that as to get a woman that would an be, impossibly expensive be, costume. Yeah. No, no well, costume. Have to Paste the hair, hair directly to them. the naked body because that is the only way you're going to get that visual of the muscle movement underneath the hair like that. During that time. Well, the, the main reason I've gotten cynical on it. You can't do it now and make it. It's almost it. impossible to do it now, yes. It, without like using CG. Well, yeah. they could use Bigfoot. CGI. That Bigfoot actually takes a bullet across the thigh here. People ain't seen that one. That's new stuff going out there. That they, they think Patterson was shooting at them fuckers. Patterson did go to his grave saying that he real. he wasn't in on it. If it was a guy in a costume, he didn't know that, and he was going right. to shoot him. Yeah. yeah. There, yeah. There's too much with Patterson. I think he's the one that's. Still Is it Patterson alive. and Gimlin? No, yeah, Patterson. Did Patterson have the gun, or did I Gimlin have the gun? Gimlin's alive yet. I don't remember. But, but they were on horses. They had guns. His story, I've, I've been following this for a long time. It just happened when I was in high school. And his story with the whole deal was changing about every 10 years. It's we were doing this. And now it's all of a sudden it's we were doing this. 
I think they, there's people out there that actually think they shot two of them, and they were trying to get the third one. Could and be. then she was running away when they were chasing him. That's why she Patterson... actually wasn't running in the video. She was, no, walking. She was walking. No, it kind of looked like a dude who got busted jacking off in the woods. Like, oh, holy shit! I thought I and, was alone. And we're walking. <laughs> in the <woods. laughs> What's the hell are people doing out here? There's websites out there. You can go, and they slow it down into slow motion. It actually does. Interesting. Well, they've dissected that video. And they can't prove it wrong. All no, all, they can't. They, they, they have not. Been able that, to prove. that particular video out of all of them has never been proven to be a fake. They've dissected it so much trying to prove it's a hoax, and they haven't been able to definitively prove it one way or the other. Come up with, uh, I think it's in some type of HD, whatever they got now, it's super good stuff. No, they broke it down frame by frame, and it's a new thing. It's like watching TV today now on the thing. Oh yeah, film holds yeah. really good resolution. People don't realize how much it upscales and how beautiful it looks compared to crappy cell phones from five years ago compared to phones from today. Yeah. I, I work at a movie theater, so I happen to know all this crap. So now they're saying it's finally been <laughs> oh. proven false? That's it. I, was, I just wanted to take the other side of the coin once. Well, yeah, the main oh, reason I'm cynical on has been fun. somebody no. saying that it was a hoax. No that that has go, come uh, out, too. Oh, down. we found a new Scroll way to do advertising here. Disclaimer for it. If I don't click yes, they black out the screen. Hey, yeah, so really. You can kind of see that. it. So you can still sort of read it. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it again. What are you doing? Oh, he's uh, surfing and yeah, he's having I hate uh, those, pop up issues. I hate those sites. Yeah. I really do. They annoy oh, the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, you guys keep going on. Oh, there, yeah. But I'm so, yeah, the main reason I've grown sour on Bigfoot is because people, we all now have HD cameras in our pockets. Why isn't there wow. more footage coming out every day? So that's well, well, how many of the people. How are, many are times have you seen something so cool? It's like, God, I wish I would have gotten my camera, and then it's too late when you do wow. get it out. Yeah, that's, that does happen. That's me, by the way. You're smart. <laughs> that is me, by the way. You know. I no, I. <laughs> my standing joke was always I'd have to ask Bigfoot how to do this. <laughs> You know how many times my over. dog has done yeah, something so cool, it it. and it's like, I wish I had a camera right at that moment, and then try to get her to do it again? Shit. No. Oh, yeah, I've got I a one-year-old so. baby. I take a million <laughs> pictures of her, and only one of them is actually cute. Yeah. <laughs> See? That there one makes go. Facebook, though. <laughs> well, supposedly this guy owed people a ton of money and was in debt and was just looking for any way. I'm sorry, you're There's not going to be able to see stuff. Yeah. Anything you're looking up. Always. You're gonna find good and you're gonna find bad. You can yeah. find what you it's want always in there. All I say is, look at that film and tell me, 1967 they faked that. They couldn't. They, they didn't they have the they technology. Don't have, they didn't have the technology back they then. They didn't the have the film. technology to make that good of a hoax. Okay. That, that's that's the biggest point. Back in 67, the kind of cameras that they had, they didn't have the HD cameras back then. They didn't have nothing. Um, they had the old Bill but, and Hollow you used to have to spin the damn thing to make And it honestly, move. honestly, if they were putting a costume on this, on a person, you would have obviously you would have known it. it. I mean, it, it would look, it would probably look loose, and it probably would have, have moved in weird ways. One because of the strange things about that whole movie, the original footage is gone. Nobody knows where it is. Yeah, I wouldn't miss <laughs> the that. original footage after they. Yep. Making copies. They don't know where the original is. Yeah, I went missing. Yep. It disappeared. Oh, I never heard that one. I have heard that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember George hearing that. It. We're watching a documentary where they got the best version of it they could find, and they tried to stabilize the image, and they were trying to yeah. do all the sort of analysis to it. Yeah, like I said, it's it's the most popular Bigfoot, probably yeah. the oh, most far. dissected. When I was a kid and I saw that for the Bigfoot first time. video there ever hoped. is. I mean, they've dissected that way, that thing, give you my big every story. which way but loose, oh, you know. Faz has a Bigfoot story. All right. I'm 1991, I'm hunting. Bear hunting, right? And it just so happened where we were, everything was flooded that September. Every place we were going to hunt was flooded. So uh, me and my dad drove up. We're up in Hurley, 40 miles from Hurley we are. And we got up there like 6 at night. And I was all cranked on to go, and my dad, he could care less about hunting and shit. So he's in the trailer, and I decide I'm going to walk down the roads and shit. Just maybe a barrel walk by, right? Just because I had to get it out of my system. I was just that cranked on. So I get to the end of the road, and the road is actually flooded over. You can't go no farther. I'm like a mile and a half from the trailer. 
<coughs> and like an idiot, I decide I'm going to pick up a rock off the road and throw it into the woods. Right? The woods has got a foot of water in it. And everybody here has picked up a rock, thrown it in the water. You know that sound, kaploosh, that it yep. makes, right? Yeah. I heave this rock, and I'm standing there. I hear the kaploosh. Standing there, nothing's going on. I ah, oh, fuck it, I'm going back. It's starting to get dark. I'm going to head back. I start to turn, and I hear kaploosh. What the hell is that? I thought somebody was fucking with me. And then I start thinking... Nobody's back here. Everything is flooded. I just seen him walking down the road. Nobody's here. I pick up another rock and heave it. Same thing, kaploosh. Just about to walk away. As soon as I turn to walk away, kaploosh. To this day, I do not know what was throwing the rocks back. Bigfoot. People have told me. Could have been. My brother come up with the Bigfoot shit about a year later. Tell him about your Bigfoot story, you know? Yeah. I don't know what was throwing it back that people have come up with, well, there was a beaver out there someplace and slapping his tail. When you hear the, spla- the slap Actually, of the tail, a beaver slaps. It doesn't do the kaploosh. Yeah. Uh, Something threw two rocks back at me, and I don't know what's in the woods up there that throws rocks back. That thing was made up. <laughs> it, was, it was a blockbuster... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Contest, movie contest. Yeah. If you, if it took me a half hour to walk down there, it took me ten minutes to get back to the trailer. <laughs> and I'm holding a shotgun with slugs in it, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's my big foot story. So. Could it have been fish jumping? They make a different sound as well. Could been your yeah. dad fucking Besides with you. That, where, where the hell would fish come from? He said it his was dad was back to the trailer. Oh, it was just a. Uh, it was just oh, flooded. I Is out of the river. That's maybe that's the thing. But yeah, but, but they, they make still make a different, different sound. sound. It's a, it's splash. a different. It ain't that caboose stone. Yeah, because with, with like you were saying with beavers, beavers whenever they if, if you've ever tail. heard a beaver slap its tail against the water, you know what it is because yeah. it sounds like somebody. It, you'll know it, what sounds, it, it sounds, sounds like somebody out. just with. slapped the crap <laughs> out of someone else. Yeah. They just like a. a same thing if you hit the the water wrong when you do like go off the, the bike, belly flops the belly flops yeah I know Come on, have you ever seen a belly flop it sounds like <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you do a belly flop oh, when yeah. you stop your beaver <laughs> <laughs> oh man so oh did I forget to tell everybody that that uh, um, no one's safe around me <laughs> everybody's a target oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's you throwing rocks at Foz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was a long echo? Not a chance. There's no, no, there's, chance. no there's no way it would have sounded no, loud enough. Just, yeah. One part that I didn't see, uh, I could see the actual ripples on the water. Oh, from something? So sort yeah, of from him. something coming back. Yeah, so your I rock, your rock was ripples. far enough out that you didn't have the ripples, but whatever threw it back, you had the ripples coming yes. at you. Were yeah, the ripples yeah, coming from the direction of where you threw the rock? Like, do you think? No, they were the... coming from, yeah, like where I threw the rock. Okay. They were coming towards me. So you threw the rock that way, yeah, and then you hear another kersplunk, and you see more ripples later yes. coming at you from the same in the same yeah. area. Yeah, yeah you okay. were trying to launch it far enough to kick a bear towards you. Exactly. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just figured, oh, there's a rock. I'm gonna throw that fucker. <laughs> something the out of the woods. So knowing me, that. I was hoping to scare some ducks up and not a shot it with slugs at the top. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an interesting one. And nobody can come up with an explanation for me. I'm trying. That I'm that I can buy anyways. Hmm. All right. But I never said Bigfoot. My brother said that. But when you were talking about these cameras possible. in our hands and yeah. everything and and you know not, not a lot of people actually will have these out in the in, in the woods with them a lot of people that do go out camping or not camping but hiking and stuff they want solid you know solidarity they don't want this crap in their hands they don't want the, 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 the that's their unplugging time well i'm sure it's probably going to be a and so you're gonna have to call well, nine one one. Yeah, yeah. we'll be taking selfies all the time. Big yeah. Yeah. Up in the background. And then of course here, here Joe's tell is talking too about about the fact that you know something happens, and you've got this on you or or whatever, and you don't to- you totally don't even think you're using it, right? Well, 
it's going to be some I had girl who always has it out that catches Bigfoot. I had <laughs> this happen. I was, I, I lived in Marshall. Me and my girlfriend. And um, we went to um, his niece's wedding. And after the wedding, we were going home. Who's we, niece's we were, wedding? Katie's. Your niece's wedding? Oh, I Katie. wasn't Well, there. she's my niece, too, in a way. I wasn't there. But um, I didn't go. we went home. And I had other stuff in my hands, and before we got to the house, or to the apartment, I noticed this bright orange glow in the sky coming, coming in. It really literally looked like day. a meteorite. Yeah. Okay. And I was thinking, oh, that's kind of cool. It's going to come in, burn up, blow up, and whatever. You know. We get to, um, to the apartment, and I park the car, and we get out, and I'm still watching this thing. It's like, damn, this thing's taking its time coming in. Well, it got behind a cloud, and I did not think to drop what was in my hands and grab my phone and start recording. You don't want to take your eyes off of it. So it gets behind this cloud, and all of a sudden it's like not there. You can't. It, it, it's just like it stopped or something. So I'm like trying to figure out where it went. So I went ahead and walked down the steps. She's already at the front door waiting for me. And I turn around and look up again. I'm like, where the hell did it go? And all of a sudden it comes out the other side of the cloud at basically a 90 degree angle. It's coming in and then turned basically a 90 degree 90. and went south of where we were. And it, it is kind of weird. I really truly wish I would have thought to drop what was in my hands and record this thing. And yeah. she didn't see it, but you did. No, she's seen, seen it. it. Tom, we're getting slap emojis. It went the other way. Yeah. <laughs> For what? <laughs> beaver slap. Oh, <laughs> beaver slap emojis? <laughs> uh, one Ashley Donahue. Oh, okay. Getting some beaver slapping emojis. Good. So, yeah, it, that, was, that was one of the incidences that, that happened. And I, I really, to this day, I, I regret not grabbing my damn phone and recording that because... That, what I seen and she seen would have been one of the best things, like proofs. I mean, because this thing came in and it went in behind the cloud. And then you would think at, you know, as it's coming in like that, it'd come out like within, a, within like 20 seconds or so, right? No. It was like it stopped and just to, to decide which way it was going to go. Hmm. Okay. And it stayed in behind that cloud and then it came out. And it went to the south. Hmm. It was really freaking weird. But it was cool. It was yeah. cool. At so the same that's time. an experience of the first kind, right? Sighting. Yeah, that would yeah. be no physical evidence. No, no yeah, evidence no, no, no left physical evidence. No contact. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that's an encounter of the first kind. Wedding, so I mean, think about it. Yeah. I think it would, might have been an alcohol-induced. Well, it couldn't have been. <laughs> okay, I hold a Class B license. Okay. For what? Therefore. I'm gonna drive drunk home. I didn't see. She could have been driving. Yeah. She can't drive a stick shift. No. <laughs> All right. If I saw something crazy so when I was a kid. Mister. Oh, I got basically a similar <laughs> story. Yeah. I think a friend of mine, his name's Buzzy, right? We just call him Buzzy. <laughs> we used to, back in the 60s, we used to sleep outside because we had no air conditioning in the houses, right? So at night, we'd sleep out in this field. It was nice and cool, and back then you could look up at the stars, and it was almost too bright from the stars being out, you know, with no lights and shit around or anything like that. And a clean atmosphere. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we used to lay on the lawn chairs out there. Just so, you and Buzzy all night. <laughs> no, Nobody there was other, around. There was lots of other people. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're laying there one night and. We used to live on 91st and Hampton in Milwaukee, right next to the airport. And the airport had nothing to do with this. We were kind of staring up at the stars and shit, just shooting the shit between us. You know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And as we're looking up, you see four things. You know how the blue angels fly in that diamond pattern? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I have to guess this is like way past the moon, you know, farther up, whatever. It, it's just a guess. They looked as big as softballs, but you could almost see through them. You know, kind of, always liking it to, you see the searchlights on the clouds, the way that looks, you know, the light. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, this is what they look like. And it came up like at about nine o'clock. And they shot straight up till about midnight on the clock. And they were gone. And I'm laying there, we're on the lawn chairs, you know, smoking cigarettes, we're 16. And I said to my buddy, now this is really weird, his answer. Uh, I'm staring up there and I said, Buzzy, did you see that? And he goes, I was hoping you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of answer is that? For years I've been telling him, he's a little bit of a weird guy, that that's when they dropped him off on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah, but they put him in the husk of now this old is buzz. probably either 66 or 67. We didn't have nothing like that. We may have it now, but we didn't have nothing like that back then. I don't know what the hell we've seen. It was pretty uh, cool. The, the, sightings, the sightings of UFOs have gotten more and more... Bizarre. Not just bizarre. I mean, frequent. It, it's frequent. become more and more frequent. Between cell phones and population. Population, cell phones... I mean, our planet right now, we have, what, 10 billion people on the planet? And Seven this planet million. is truly only capable of, of, of sustaining 4 billion people. Yeah, so we're, we're well, well overpopulated on this planet. That's yeah. a fucking bummer. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You know, some some places on this planet have an abundance of resources, and oh, yeah. other places don't. And those those places are the ones that are suffering the most. Yeah, you should quit breeding. <laughs> I think I think we should all just stick to one child, and that's it. For a while, we got to keep the the population of of the human race going. But who the hell needs nine kids? Not me. I'm the youngest of seven. There's no way in hell my parents needed seven kids, but here I am. Every what was that Mao from China always said? Every stomach is attached to two set of working. Hands. I've only got one child. That's it. Mao Zedong. Boom. Oh, that Mao. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Mao over there. So. All right, I guess we can move along here a little bit. Uh, some 9%. They do add fluoride to water. They do. That is the thing. No, the purpose of the fluoride is actually to purify the water. Yeah. No, it's for your teeth and stuff. It has a, a good that, side effect. That and the chlorine. Um, it, but it practice of water... <laughs> you ever listen to yourself did, talk did, back? Did, did, you, did you actually go to college? Can you not you knock over the soundboard, dude? I'm Thanks. Get out of here, sneaky! Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, it's banned in China, Austria, Belgium, Finland, Germany, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and the Netherlands, and Hungary and Japan also. Mm. Fluoride in the water. Okay. I'd be okay with banning it. Okay. Supposedly if you don't brush your teeth, that's your problem. <laughs> All right. But you got to drink pukey water in it. Pukey water. Well, that was wasn't that water. one of the reasons why the yeah, water in yes, Flint went water. terrible? Is they changed uh, where they get it from, so it was treated differently, and it caused all this no, like, calcium in no, the pipes actually, to all come loose and poison everything. It wasn't the calcium. It, it, the it fact something. is, it's lead pipes. Lead, lead pipes. Yeah. Lead pipes. There was there was and calcium. Uh, the, naturally the, shielding the pipes, right, and, and that all got washed out. And by that the, all washed out. And different then, water. Then the, you know, lead pipes is, has has been, always will be bad for, for any community or house or, or person drinking from them. So that's why when you see them now, they're kind of like ceramics and 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 um, plastics and stuff PVC. like that. They've been replacing a lot of the water mains here in Cedarburg, house by house. Because you can see they'll shut down a whole block, and you'll see them just ripping mm -hmm. out the, the water mains and putting new new ones back in. Uh, who, who wants another incident like Flint? Yeah. They're still recovering. And they are that. still recovering from that. And the thing, the thing is, they they really haven't fixed the problem like they no, should. No, they haven't. It's and they stopped, they, they stopped giving out the, the <coughs> bottled water. Bottle water now. I saw that, too. So, you know, and, and that's, you know, lead poisoning is... Pretty damn bad. Yeah. 
All right. Well, this one, I don't know, Ma, what time we at here? Can we do that? We should save this one for the bonus episode, I'm thinking. What's this one? Mark, what's it on the Facebook feed? Where are we at? I don't know. Aren't you supposed to be monitoring? One hour. One hour? 59, yeah. 32. I'm not going to start this one until we get into, uh, let's tease the bonus episode. This is about the moon landing being faked or not. Mm. Ooh, moon uh, we ain't got time to get in there and do Ask Tom Anything and wrap it up and get everybody's info out. So let's do a couple Ask Tom Anything. Sure. We'll wrap up this episode, and then we'll come back for some moon landing stuff. I got a couple cool monster things that are here, too, I'd like to get to. See, when, once you start rolling on a conspiracy, I mean, look at all these. Yeah, I got go six forever. different pages of stuff. We, we've actually came so, across that problem. Yeah, so. we, we've actually sat to do basically an hour show and wound up with a two Almost hour two show hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah it happened so or had to go to two or three parts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right this is a segment of the show you guys listen called ask tom anything you guys can jump in emailers uh email questions in anything random off the wall so and facebook live if you want to ask tom anything mark mm-hmm. is kind of watching it you know kinda. how to make your screen not turn off no i backed out so i could see the runtime oh okay I don't know how computers work anymore. I'm officially old. Okay, we'll do that. (laughs) All right, so I should start? Yeah, start with Ask Tom Anything. We have uh, one from Fatty Nutmeg, kind of off the tick topic. Her dog takes a chewable every month that keeps the ticks off them. It works great. What would happen if a human took them? Why isn't there a human version, Tom? This is a, everybody's so infatuated with ticks. This is three (laughs) weeks in a row that ticks have come up. Okay, because a bunch of reasons. Wait, did you read this one, Mel? Oh, Mal read this one last week. Oh, yeah, I didn't know what you read. I read during your show with oh. uh oh. Well, well let's just, because uh, I got to pow out with Molly and figure out what she asked because I don't know. Okay, what. well then let's yeah. throw in one. Would you rather, and then we'll do this real quick. Did we bring those? Oh, here we go. Yeah, right there. All right, we'll just instead of ask time anything, we'll maybe hit you next week or on yeah. the bonus. Sorry, episode. universe, I wasn't here for the last interview. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't get off work. Yeah, when our sponsor showed up. For the last minute deal. <laughs> well, everything turned out great. Yes, so. it did. Thank you very much. So, would you rather be forced to look at yourself in every reflective surface you pass for at least twenty seconds, or never see your reflection again? I would probably like every reflective surface I see myself. That would scare the shit out of me. Like <laughs> getting cookies at night. I like my face is on the fridge. Or, no, I'd never. I'd rather never see myself. I'd just be like, I'm a total fucking vampire. I'm this guy over here. <laughs> yeah. Earlier when we were talking, he's he's been called a vampire before. I've been called many things before. <laughs> so what would fun. you guys prefer? Always seeing yourself in every reflective surface? Why do I need to be vain and look at myself all the time? So never see yourself? What, never if, you're, be able to look? what if your hair's not right? What if your mustache needs trimming? He don't have any hair not to be right. Got a mustache. I mean, like got a you stash. You have to trust hey, your stash. friends and loved ones. We don't just wake up oh, and I'm look this good. I'm just walk around looking like an ass. I ain't going to tell him <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, hit another one here. You. All right. Would you rather live your life without any taste buds or never have any feeling in your fingers? Never have. Oh, that's a rough one. I like food. I do I like, like food, food very too. much. Uh-uh. Take the feeling out of the food. Man, they, yeah, I gotta have the taste buds. I don't know, I that could be a lot of fun, fun, though. Can't feel your own fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Constantly giving yourself the stranger? <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a fringe benefit. Hey. <laughs> I guess that would make it more interesting. Cold hands, cold hands. Uh, Barbara Klein wants to know, My mom. what were you guys doing filming in the woods when they happened to cross Bigfoot? Were they making a Bigfoot movie? What were the guys doing filming in the woods? Oh, oh she's bringing it back, they, to, the, back to the Patterson getting yeah. the footage. Yeah. Wow, that came up pretty cool for this episode. Um, they were actually filming a Bigfoot movie, right? They were, I thought they were scouting locations or yeah, something. Yeah, they were scouting locations. And if you're scouting hunting. locations, you don't bring a camera. Yeah, but they also had guns all... and rifles with them, too. They I know they were on back. horses, so I guess There's the camera There's still bears and shit out there, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's probably bears, probably mountain lions. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. theories, but oh, I, I can't remember the... what the true story was about that. 
It's been a while. Since I know he I borrowed a ton of money. He was in debt and everything. So. Barbara Klein is his mom. In case you guys yeah. didn't pick up on I, that. I picked yeah, up. Yeah, I picked okay. up on that. So <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like everybody's getting. And in. Thank you, Utterly Insane. Check them out. Uh, what's your Facebook? Let's uh, give you a little little pokes there. Utterly Insane. That's the Facebook page. Utterly yeah. Insane with uh, Mark and Joe. Yeah. You got YouTube or? Yeah, we've got YouTube as well. YouTube. Anything else that you want to hit up? No. Your home address? <laughs> <laughs> your social security number? Social security number, home address, blood type? It won't do you any good. No. <laughs> okay. I'm already tapped out. Or you can just go to Mark and Joe dot, uh, Mark and Joe show dot com to okay. find any of our links. Okay. Because there's that, a website. That was our original website. Website, website the original name of the show. And then after getting together with you guys yeah. and whatnot, we, we figured. A lot of things have changed. You know, we yeah. changed it up a little bit. A little like bit. You but like you, yeah. we're trying to make improvements as we go. So. Yeah, every yeah. week a little bit Definitely better. Definitely trying to make it better. So, all right. Mark, who goes first here? I end it, right? You start, and then I go, and then you, you seal the deal. All right. Um, let's thank our sponsor first, right? They yes. should get first billing. Coldwell mm -hmm. Banker, Home Sale Realtor. If you're Realtors. looking to buy or sell a home, you you own a home. I do own a home. Did it's you great. use uh, Coldwell Banker, Home Sale Realty? Next question. You got ripped <laughs> off, man. You got to call Roy. 414-235-0763 or go uh, for Roy at cbhsr.com and you know what you don't just have to use them to buy a home if you ain't got the money to buy it maybe you can sell a home so go become a realtor Ooh, uh, work for yourself they'd love to be your go-to for all your real estate needs and make sure you check out our patreon page i know that's not big around here but you guys you know you want to get in the know why don't you be a frontier man if you want us to have more microphones so Foz and I don't have to share one. That, that would, would be, be nice. awesome, universe. <laughs> um, click on our Amazon link on our banner. Everyone shops on Amazon, so why not do it? Try helping out your favorite podcast. You can uh, go to our website, click on the Amazon link, shop like normal, and we get a kickback. You can also try Amazon Music Unlimited free trial, Kindle Unlimited, and for you college students out there, you get all that has, they have to offer for six months free. And if you want to read about Bigfoot, Bigfoots, Big Feet, Big Feet, Big Feet, Big Feet, uh, where should you go there, Mark? What's a good place if you want to read? But I would start with audible.com for all my. It's the world's largest producer of digital books. You listen with, or you read with your ears now. You don't have to read with your eyes. You're not a caveman. So, biggest selection ever. Not a Neanderthal. Yeah. Go to audibletrial.com slash offtherailstm.com or go to our website, click the Audible Trial link. You get 30-day free membership. You get a book. You can keep that book if you want. One free and book, yeah. One free book. Uh, where can they find us? Well, we are Off the Rails with Tom and Mark, and you can find us on a whole bunch of things that are all going to sound the same. It's Twitter at Off the Rails. Just TM. say off the rails TM and slash list them off. off the rails TM. Instagram at off the rails TM. Our website is off the rails TM dot com. This will be burned into your brain. And that, e <laughs> uh, well, you can also email all your questions to ask Tom anything four one four at gmail dot com. But then yes. we also have another email address for other purposes. You want to be on the show, maybe, or what know is somebody for? who wants to or be you on somebody? the show. You can contact us at off the rails tm at gmail dot com. We are also on SoundCloud, YouTube, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast hosting sites. See our website for more details. And thank you again, our guest, Utterly Insane, coming all the way from Watertown. Oh, thank you for and having us. Remember, Universe, we're not good enough.